County friends. This is Stephanie with Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today. It is Sunday, November 1st, 2020. This is episode number 15. This is a crochet podcast where I take you on all my yarny adventures. Um, and I show you all the shenanigans I got into in the past week. So we're just going to, I have quite a few things to go over with you guys. So we're just basically going to get started. So hurry up, grab your favorite beverage, put those feet up because you absolutely deserve it. And relax and enjoy what I have to show you and hopefully you find some inspiration from what we talk about today. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to go ahead and start um, right into my whips. Um, I'm going to show you this baby blanket. Um, I showed it to you guys in um, my earlier videos that I've done. This baby blanket here. Um, when I showed it to you guys last as well, um, as a finished object, my ends weren't weaved in and they're still not weaved in. So, but that's okay. I had a friend of mine, um, she saw that I made this blanket and initially when I made it, I was going to make a whole baby set out of it, but I got too many things on my hooks and I decided to push it off to the side. Um, and she saw that I made it, so she's requesting that baby set. So I pulled it back out, and I'm going to go ahead and complete that set. Um, the set's going to include the blanket, a sweater, a hat, a lovey, and booties. Yes, booties. I'm going to have to make booties again. If you guys are familiar with my recent episodes, me and booties do not get along. But I'm going to do them. So um, this is the color scheme of the baby set. Um... Of course, in Karen Simply Soft, uh, in pumpkin, white, heather gray, or gray heather, and country blue. And I have the skeins too. This is the pumpkin. This is the country blue. This is the gray. And the white. So, um... In that same episode that I showed the baby blanket in before, um, I had started the lovey, which is a little teddy bear lovey. Um, I wasn't very far. It was just a very small little circle. So I worked on it some last night. And here, the head's almost done. It needs stuffed and everything. And this is, I made the, I'm going to make the parts, the, the head and the arms in the gray heather um from the karen silky soft um so that started the pattern i'm using is it's called interchangeable lovey blanket by elena o'day and um but it's listed on a different website um bella coco crochet that's the website i found the pattern on i'll be sure to link everything uh, down below for you guys. Um, it's a pattern I found on Pinterest. Um, and it's, I love the pattern. It's written very nicely. Um, so yes, it's gonna be a bear with a little face and little arms. This, this is gonna be the lovey. And I'm gonna work it up in the same color scheme as the blanket. Um, so it's all going to match. So that's whip number one. Um, the next whip um, I just started as well, too, because I have a uh, request for not an entire baby set um, for the time frame that um, she needs it by. Um, I, there's no way I can um, pull out another baby set. I have actually three to make um, do within the next two months. So um, so she's just wanting a striped blanket. Um, initially, when she came to me, she was asking me if I could make a um, graph gam um, for Winnie the Pooh. And there was, and she needed it by December. There's simply no time for me to do a, a graph gan. Um, I would have loved to, but um, there's simply no way. Um, so I approached her with a simple um, striped blanket in the theme colors um, for her to give. And she said that they were doing a classic Winnie the Pooh. Um, not the new version of Winnie the Pooh. So I was on Daisy Farm Crafts, who I love. Uh, she uses a lot of Karen Simply Soft. So 
her color schemes and choices and stuff, I get a lot of inspiration from it. Um, once again, I'll be sure to link her down below. So I went ahead. This is called um, Summertime Stripes Crochet Blanket. And like I said, it's on Daisy Farm Crafts. I went ahead and got this started um, yesterday, actually. Very, not much done. But this is the start of it. This is um, in Karen Slippy Soft White. And to that, I'm going to add Sunshine, Persimmon, Persimmon, I think, and Country Blue. So with that color scheme, I when I saw it, I mean, in the name it says Summertime Stripes. But when I saw this color scheme, I thought classic Winnie the Pooh, like based off the picture she was showing me. Um, so I approached her with that and she said she loved it. Um, she does want the stripe. She's happy with that. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, not much is done. Um, but it, I think it's going to be gorgeous. I would never would have thought to put those colors together. But in her pictures, they, they work out beautifully. So I'm very excited um, to have uh, a chance to make this color scheme. So uh, the next item is my midnight blanket. Um, with the fact that I have so many baby sets that I need to do, um, I'm nervous, not nervous. I don't like... They're all on time frames. I have the blanket that's due in December. The one baby set is due in December as well. And the other two baby sets are due in January. But they're, they all include, except for the straight blanket I just showed you guys, a blanket, a lovey, um, a sweater, booties, and a hat. And the other baby set is a blanket, a hat. No, no hat. Was there a hat? I know there's a lovey and a diaper cover. So I feel pressured for time, I guess. And I just want to make sure everything's done on time. So all the baby sets are going to take um, priority right now. So during my knit night with uh, Crochet Creations by Christy that we have on Monday nights, this is the blanket I was working on. Um, I'm almost done with it. I should probably finish it up. I... It crossed my mind to put it to the side and work on some of the baby blankets that I have to do. I don't know yet. I really want to finish this up. It's so close to being done. Let me just show you guys. Instead of babbling, how about I just show you, right? Okay. So here it is. Just a striped blanket. And here is my stitch marker that I actually got from Christy, from Crochet Creations by Christy. Um, like that. Uh, she, which I'll talk about more later, but yes, she sent me this. I'll explain more a little bit later, but she, that's her signature stitch marker. So I made quite a bit of progress this past Monday. So I finished off the terracotta rose in the white. So I'm thinking I'm about five, seven, and this is touching the ground. So I'm thinking I'm finishing off the white, do one stripe of the terracotta rose. I'm on the fence about the border. I kind of like it without the border because it's just simple. But like I said in the past episodes, I, uh, wanted it a little bit wider and to make it wider adding a border would be ideal so I don't know I haven't I have enough yarn to do a nice size border so let me know what you guys think <clears throat> simplicity with the way it is or add a border to get my width I don't know yet um, this is a V-stitch pattern. Like I said, um, when I do knit night with the girls, I can't have anything where I need brain power, need to read. I need something simple. This is 
something I can work on mindlessly because we're laughing, we're talking, we're having a good time, and I can't be concentrating on things. So V stitch back and forth. Um, the yarn I'm using is Bernath Baby Velvet and Terracotta Rose. And Bernat Baby or Bernat Velvet and White. So those are the two colors. Um, this one I got on clearance at Joann's the one time I was there and it was by chance on clearance. So I picked it up, of course. It's a four medium, 100% polyester, 492 yards. Um, the Bernat Velvet is a five bulky which, you know, you can't really tell. You, I could tell a little bit when I'm working with it that they're different sizes, but that's okay. Um, this is in white, and there is 315 yards in one of these games, and you can still buy these, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Those are my current whips. So, now we are going to get into the... Finish objects. I don't have many, but that's okay. So I had a coworker of mine who is obsessed with manatees. She just loves manatees. Um, and she has a little, a little girl, a baby. She's about five months old. Yeah, five months old. And she sent me a picture of a baby manatee hat that she wanted me to make. It was just a picture. The picture I did a search on it and it's actually for uh a one uh finished object that you can purchase and so she wanted you know she's a supportive friend she wanted me to make it so i went ahead and worked it up as best as i could now i am fairly new to hats and so the one pattern I found, cause she wanted, it was an ear flap hat. So I figured the best would be the, for the ear flap patterns I was looking for were worked from top down. I just wanted the hat to be simple because it has the manatee face on it. Um, so, you know, basically double crochet is what I was looking for. And I found this one pattern. I haven't done a hat like that before. So I found this one pattern. Worked up in the size three to six months. Excuse me while I get a drink. And, well, it's much larger than I remember a baby that size being. Here it is. Here's the first one I worked up. And it's got the ear flaps. And I finished it up. I wasn't paying attention I was, as I was going. I was working up basically what the pattern said. And I finished up, weaved in my ends and everything. And I held it up. I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm looking at it. It seems a little large for a five month old baby. And mostly in height and a little bit in inches. And the pattern suggested that I use an eye hook and I'm using the Karen Simply Soft and Heather Gray for this. So it's a, that yarn is a lighter four. It's not, I'm in comparison to Red Heart, it's a, it's a thinner four. Um, so I'm like, okay, okay. Um, I'm not sure. I couldn't remember the yarn that the pattern had called for. Um, the pattern I used is, I don't know written down. I'll be sure to link it down below. I thought I wrote that down, but I didn't. It's a candy cane striped hat. Um, my goodness, I don't have it. Oh, yes, I do. Lovable loops. It's right here. The candy cane beanie is what the pattern is called. <sighs> I can't have a podcast episode without some sort of craziness going on. So, um, yes, lovable loops. I'll be sure to link it down below. The candy cane beanie. It's a red and white striped hat, so I wanted the base of the hat. I really liked it. So, obviously, this is too big. So, I went ahead and went down a hook size. 
and I got this. It's got the strings. The little tassels on the end. So definitely much smaller than the original. Um, for like the length of the hat that I was, I did some research. I was looking for approximate length of, length of, length of hats uh, for babies. And it said, I think five and a half inches. I think this is six inches. So I'm thinking, you know, this is going to fit a lot better on her. Um, I'm going to take her to her tomorrow. So hopefully um, it fits her. If not, I'll make her another one because why not, right? So what I did is the, like I said, the candy cane beanie, which is double crochet um, with the ear flaps. And then for the snout, I did... An upside down crochet heart so if you look at it this way it's actually you can see kind of heart um, I have it sewed down to kind of round it off a little bit more and then I just did single crochet little circles for the nostrils and the eyes and I just sewed everything down so yeah it was, I think it turned out super adorable I think she's gonna love it the thing with um, creating something that I don't have a pattern to with a face uh, usually doesn't turn out too well for me uh, when I'm just going off of a picture or something it's it's kind of hard for me but I think this one turned out really cute so hopefully she likes it um we'll see tomorrow I'll let you guys know so the other thing I want to show you guys, and this is going to tie in to um, the next part too, is I started a new adventure on uh, stitch markers. I drew a blank. Yes, yeah, stitch markers. So I attempted to make stitch markers in the past. Um, my daughter has a ton of beads, and I thought that was something cute that we could sit down and do. Um, she can create and mix and match all these colors and stuff, but I mean, they're not the tiny beads, they're bigger beads and stuff, and it just wasn't working out, and I just scrapped the idea. With the current event of the make-along, the new crochet-along for, uh, starting today, actually, um, which I'll get more into, um, is going to include stitch markers. So, I created... I made some stitch markers so let me show you guys it was interesting so instead of the charm stitch markers and stuff with all the cute charms and the color beads and all that fun stuff I'm using felted balls Ta -da! so I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see so here's one Here's another, oh, it looks like a candy corn. Here is another. And by, me, by means, these, these are not 100% perfect, but I made these. My goodness. Here's another. I think that was the last one. Or is there one more? Oh, this one. This one's got like a light purple blue and a darker blue. So yeah. Um, I actually got the idea from Mikey from the Crochet Crowd. Um, I, I watched, I saw it a while ago. He was making some for, I think, one of their crochet cruises. And like I said, I bought the supplies thinking that me and my daughter, you know, could have a like, little crafting session and stuff. But it did turn out. So 
I had the supplies on hand. The tricky part was that I had to create the hole for, because it, felt, it's felted wool. So I had to create the hole and, I mean, that's tough to break. So I had to stick a, a, a darning needle that's tough enough for leather, supposedly. I'm not sure if I bought the right ones, but it seemed to work. Then I had to take the pin that these are attached to and shove it through, but the, my hole was closing and I, or my, my pin was crooked. Ugh. It was interesting to say the least, but I think they turned out cute. Um, so yes, I enjoyed it. I'm going to make some more of these. I ordered these balls off of Amazon and then I have other ones coming from someone on Etsy that I purchased from and I can't remember their name um off the top of my head I will link it down below if you guys are interested but um she had like ombre sets and stuff so I, I thought those were really cute so I have those coming sometime this week um and the reason why I decided to do stitch markers is because I wanted to put them in as part of the giveaway for the progressive mystery make uh, crochet along that me and Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy are doing, which the first part is going to be released today. So if you do not follow us on Facebook, go ahead and do that now because you're not going to want to miss it. Um, I'll link her Facebook and my Facebook down below. So this week is week one and we are releasing prizes every week. So for week one, this is the prize I'm giving out. This is Yarn B, Soft and Sleek, Low Pill Fiber in the colorway French Lilac. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's really gloomy here today, so my lighting's a little off. But it's a dust, it's like a dusty purple. And I've made two kit sweaters out of this, this colorway. And they turned out awesome. Um, it can be bought at Hobby Lobby. And it is 100% low pill acrylic. And it's a four medium. And there are 232 yards. And on this skein of yarn is one of the stitch markers that I made. And it's got like a, a fuchsia purple, a light purple, and is that white or off-white? I'm not sure. It's getting, it, I feel like it's getting darker as I continue to talk because, like I said, it's really gloomy out and I feel like a really dark cloud just went over my house. So, I apologize right now for the lighting. Um, so, yes, this is week one of the giveaway. Um... Be sure to go to our Facebook group. All the details are there for everybody. Make sure you post your progress as you go because we want to see how you're doing. And if you have any questions whatsoever during the entire process, contact me or Christy. Um, me and her, our patterns, which you're going to see with today's release, they're the same but different. So I can't describe I know that makes no sense but it does to us and then once once the weeks go by you guys are going to see that yes they're the same but different so <clears throat> excuse me so that is the giveaway for this week um the yarn I'm using for the pattern is now mine's a four bulky weight and Christy is using a four weight um, the one I'm using is Barcelona in the Arctic colorway, which I don't think you can get the colorway anymore, but when we were designing our pattern, um, I had three skeins of this colorway and I said to Christy, I'm like, I just, I need a little bit more. And she's like, I have that in my, in my stash. She's like, I'll send you this skein. Thankfully. And that's where I got the stitch marker that you guys saw on my knit night blanket. So 
of course she attaches a stitch marker to it. So thanks to Christy for the rescue, um, I was able to finish this. So yes, make sure you check out that crochet along. Um, it's going to be a good time. Every week is going to be something new being released and it's just going to be full of exciting things. Um, like I said, be sure to post your pictures because we want to see everyone's progress. Um, the yarn we chose, you know, is what we liked, but everyone likes different things. So we want to see what yarn you chose, what colorway you chose. I want to see it. And like I said, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We will help you. Um, so be sure to sign up for that. Um, other than that, that's all I really have to show you guys. I think my lighting is just getting darker and darker by the minute, I think. Um, I don't know if it's just me or if you guys noticed that, but I think it may be. Um, yeah. So with that, I hope you all have a great week. I'll be back next week to show you what other shenanigans I get into this week. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following me. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to keep those that yarn running through those fingers. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.